Uh, our next guest, Gad Sad, he's a professor and author of the wonderful book, The Parasitic Mind, which you must buy right now. It's been, but we just talked to two wonderful, uh, as you would call them, honey badgers. Uh, a mom who's been sued by her school board because she's asking too many questions, and a firefighter who's willing to be fired because he refuses the vaccine mandate along with half of the LA Fire Department. So I'm really curious about these people. Uh, but before we get to the honey badgers, I wanna ask you about the passive. The people who just, I don't like, don't care, aren't paying attention, hear these crazy things and don't think it's a big deal. What's the driving motivation of these people? I think you hit uh, exactly all the different reasons. Number one, some people don't pay attention. Uh, so they're not uh, immersed in all of the culture war issues that are taking place. Other people do pay attention, but uh, diffuse the responsibility onto others. Let God Saad put his neck out. Let Jordan Peterson put his neck out. Let others do it. They're doing a good job. They've got big platforms. Why should I be worried about it? A lot of people are cowardly. I've always said that we should add cowardice as the eighth deadly sin. So, mm. you know, I'm not going to put my neck out. I I'm afraid to lose my job. I'm afraid that people will unfriend me. I'm afraid that I won't be invited to the cool kids club. club. So for all sorts of reasons, many of which are truly human frailties, people decide that, uh, you know, they're not going to speak out. And as I can repeatedly tell people, if everybody speaks out in unison, we will truly get rid of uh, these idea pathogens very quickly. If not, it truly will be a long train ride to hell. Uh, you're an evolutionary biologist. What is the evolutionary Psychology. reason? Psycho, excuse me. Uh, what's yeah. the evolutionary reason for a, uh, a, a person to be passive? Well, uh, of course, look, uh, being fearful is an evolutionary mechanism. So for example, if I walk down a dark street to take a shortcut to my home, and I notice that there are four young men loitering, my blood pressure will go up, my heart will start raising. That fear-based response makes sense because there's an evolutionary reason why we've evolved the emotional system that we have, including our, our fears. The problem is when the fear is misplaced, when the fear is uh, activated in the wrong time, or it's or you're too fearful. So for example, some of the uh, phobias that we experience, right? If you go to see a clinician because you have a fear of spiders, this is where your fear-based response is hyperactive. So life is about finding the sweet spot is to know, you know, not to be too fearful and not to be not sufficiently fearful. And so, so to answer your question in a long-winded way, uh, it makes a perfect, actually a very loving, you know, kind, affable guy. If you follow me on social media, I'm, you know, I'm all into my family, hang, having fun, I'm playful. But I also have another side of my character, which is I genuinely get rightfully indignant if I see dishonesty, if I see intellectual cowardice, if I see cognitive inconsistency. And so it's just my honey badger nature that manifests itself every minute of every day. Oh, I love that. So let's talk about that honey badger. And how, what is it? Let's start with that. What is the honey badger mentality? Yeah. Yeah, so the reason why I use that particular, and earlier you mentioned evolutionary biology, you, you're exactly right that I, in that I use evolutionary biology to study human behavior. Uh, and one of the things that you do when you're an evolutionist is you look at the behavior of other animals to contrast it and compare it to humans. And so I'm, I've always been immersed into the animal literature. And so when I was trying to come up with a call to action about an animal that we should be exhibiting its courage, Right away, I fell into the honey badger because the honey badger is a animal that's the size of a small dog. And yet you can go on Google right now on YouTube and check some videos. It could withstand an attack of six adult lions. H how is that possible? <laughs> well, it does because it is insanely ferocious and fierce, right? It, it, it acts in such a uh, you know, bellicose manner. I mean, it's got big claws, it's got big teeth, it, it does this really intimidating noise uh, that even lions are afraid of it. And so I argue that people have to be honey badgers in defending their positions, whether it be the parent that you refer to or the firefighter. If you have well-articulated, well-reasoned positions, don't cower into silence. Don't go into a corner, suck your thumb into a fetal position. Grow a spine, don't be an invertebrate, speak your mind. And so this is why I mean, you know, activate your inner honey badger. The reality is that, and I hate to say this, I think the default value of human nature 
is to be herd, you know, herd uh, mindset. It's to be sheep. And this is why the people who are courageous stand out. This is why we remember them. This is why we lionize them. So I am disappointed that most people are so, you know, sheepish in their obedience. But on the other hand, I recognize that regrettably it's an indelible part of human nature. And hopefully people like me and others who consistently remind us that we don't need to be sheep will get people to activate their inner honey badger. Wow, that was deep and insightful. I want more of that. Like, subscribe, get more.